Welcome back to Hot Water Wrestling, everybody. And I'm here with a Blu-ray update. Just trying to adjust my camera here. And I got it kind of sitting on the couch. Anyways, uh, just wanted to do a Blu-ray update. Hope everyone had a happy holidays, safe new year, and a Merry Christmas. Um, I got a couple Blu-rays for Christmas. Um, and I wanted to show them off. Oops, sorry. Um, the first thing I got was... The Lord of the Rings box set. And uh, obviously, these are the extended cuts. I'm sorry. Extended cuts here. Um, they're making The Hobbit. I'm very excited about that. I always read the Lord of the Rings books growing up and uh, always wanted them to make movies, and I'm very happy they did. Obviously, most people have seen. Uh, Lord of the Rings and know about this set. The Blu-ray cases on here are actually interesting because they're black, which is kind of cool and gold. Um, the set is, is 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 a lot like the old extended cut set. In fact, the silk screen is the same on the front. Basically, the same in inserts you have here. A lot of the same bonus features. Um, I actually forget if they actually added bonus features, but I would imagine they did. They usually do. Um, so, Lord of the Rings box set, happy to have it. It's been a little while since I've watched the good old L-O-T-R, so, uh, L-O-T-R, yeah, Lord of the Rings. Alright, next is Super 8. Now, I got this back around Thanksgiving and forgot to include it in my last Blu-ray update, so I'm doing it now. This was like my favorite popcorn movie of the summer. Um, it's actually a lot better crafted and more deep than just a popcorn movie. But as far as pure summer entertainment, this movie, <coughs> excuse me guys, rocked the house. Um, just loved it. Everything you look for in a movie. A mesh between E.T., Goonies, The Close Encounters. You know, just an, an amazing film. A classic if you haven't seen this I would go out and see it immediately um, I don't know what there isn't to like about Super 8 great great film next along those lines of course is Poltergeist um, this movie was produced by Steven Spielberg but not directed by him but it's almost kind of like he co-directed it um, Tobe Hooper got the director credit but it's very much like a Spielberg movie and this is the sorry the Blu-ray book edition of that. Um, with all these movies, Paranormal coming out, and Insidious, things like that. This is a, a really amazing ghost movie. If you like the ghost movies, um, I suggest you check this out because this is definitely a classic. I haven't seen this in a long time. Looking forward to checking out the transfer on Blu-ray. And that's the Blu-ray book of Poltergeist. Uh, next is The Breakfast Club, another classic here, um, basically a coming-of-age movie by director John Hughes, made a lot of great films uh, in the 1980s, we have an airplane flying overhead, can you hear that, jam, ghetto bird, anyways, uh, The Breakfast Club, and then this is cool, the Expendables director's cut. Um, I actually like the original theatrical cut of this film, um, but I heard that this one is even better. Uh, this just came out. Um, I didn't really even know it was coming out, and uh, a buddy of mine got this for me for Christmas. So, Expendables. Next is Forbidden Planet. This is a sci-fi classic um, starring Leslie Nielsen, believe it or not, from the Naked Gun movies. Um, you know, you, you'll hear the song referenced in the theme song of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, and, you know, this, 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 this movie was one of the bigger sci-fi movies of the 1950s. Um, you know, it's, it's among sci-fi fans, it's kind of on the must-see list. Uh, you know, it's a little corny and hokey and campy for today's fan. I would have to say if you're not a fan of old movies or you're not like a huge science fiction fan, you could probably skip this. But 
I like to take the trip down memory lane, even though that was made 25, 30 years before I was born. But <laughs> here's a perfect world uh, with Kevin Costner and Clint Eastwood, directed by Clint Eastwood. This is a really great movie. Um, I don't know if you've seen this or not, but I highly suggest it. Um, he's basically an escaped convict, and he ends up kidnapping this boy sort of on a mistake but then decides that he that the boy is an asset to him in his race across country to get away from the law he ends up bonding with the boy um the kid the kid kind of has a crappy home life and so when he's on the road with kevin costner he kind of gets the kid to come out of his shell and the two of them bond and learn about life together um, as Clint Eastwood is chasing them down across country, I think the film actually takes place in the 19, early 1960s, though it was made um, in about 1990, 1991, I think, something like that. Oh, it says 1993. Um, so directed by Clint Eastwood, really cool movie, uh, keeps you on the edge of your seat, suspenseful film. And last but not least is Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Blu-ray. Have not seen this. Got it as a gift. The person who got it for me loved this movie. It was their favorite. While well, Super 8 was my favorite of the summer, this was theirs. And so they definitely wanted me to see it. And coincidentally, I actually got them Super 8. So it was a good trade. Let me know if you've seen this movie. Um, hopefully you'll be able to watch it in the next few days. So anyways, there's my blu-ray slash dvd update hope you all had a great safe holiday take care